Hello everyone, this is Sajid Parit from IIT Delft. In this video, I will, I will show you how to develop a web application from Google Earth Engine. Google Earth Engine comes with inbuilt functionality to develop an app based on, a, on your script and uh, which is shareable to public and uh, they will be able to see uh, the functionalities you provide with your script. It's a very good medium to uh, share to a larger audience your data, to visualize your data and, uh, and to offer some basic uh, GIS based or special data based applications. So there are many uh, good examples of the app which we, uh, we have covered in our workshop. But here I'm going to show you how to make a basic app and how to start with it. So in this code editor, you can see I have a very simple script. Uh, it's called script one. And in this script, I'm importing two data set. One is SRTM DEM and a boundary, uh, which is again a basin in Iran, which is Urmia Basin. I'm centering the map view to the boundary with a zoom level of seven. I'm setting a visualization a palette uh, to visualize this DEM over that boundary. And uh, the only function which I'm performing here with the script is clip this DEM uh, to the boundary using the clip function and add this particular uh, DEM which is clipped to the boundary uh, to the map view and display the map using this palette. So that is the script, a very simple script. Let's see what happens when we run this script. You can see that it goes to run and it display uh, the DEM, which is already clipped to uh, Urmia Basin. And you have an option to uh, select and deselect the image layer. So now you want to uh, add or offer this particular script or this particular data as a web app one important note to uh, always remember is that for example dem is a public data which is available in google earth engine data catalog so this can be accessed by all the uh, all the people who have access to google earth engine but this one is you can see it is in my users uh, asset this is my asset this boundary so if you are going to share this app, this means you have to make this particular data, which is a imported shapefile into my asset uh, to all. Then only uh, people will be, or others will be able to see the data when you share the app link. So to do that, I will go to the assets. Uh, you can see that I have only one asset, which is the basin boundary, which is imported here. I will select the basin boundary, and there is an option called share so i'll click on share and you can see that there's an option called anyone can read so if you select that one that means uh, whoever has this link uh, to the script or any app developed using the script or developed using this particular data can actually um, see the data they cannot access or download the data but they can they will be able to at least visualize the data that that's Step is very important here. Now let's see how to convert the script into an app. So for that, there is an option called Apps here, Manage Apps. So I go to Manage Apps. I click on New App, and I will say my app, which is just a name. You can give meaningful names when you have a much more detailed script. And this is going to the, be the URL of uh, this particular app, and you can share this URL with other people so that they can see it now one important step is that you need to have a google cloud project uh, to make this app active so this is a one single uh, single time uh, step you have to do it only once and uh, um, yeah i mean depending on the project i mean uh, if you have big projects and multiple projects and you have different google cloud buckets or uh, projects available then you may have to 
look into which project you are going to assign this app into but in this case it's if it's a general app you can just create a default uh, cloud project and assign all the app into that project so here i'm going to change it and i'm saying create a new cloud project because i don't have any cloud projects a fresh uh, google app engine you log it uh, so there's no organization available you can keep this uh, default uh, you can keep the default name which is appearing here and you can also keep everything default here in the optional and I will say select okay I have been I did not accept the cloud terms of services so to do that okay sorry to do that um, you can go to this particular link here may take some time and agree to the terms and conditions you have to note that a Google Cloud is uh, actually a, a paid service but in most of the cases if your app or if your usage in cloud is nominal uh, usually they don't charge anything it's not so but be alert that uh, uh, it's one of the paid service from cloud uh, sorry Google okay so I accepted all the terms so I will go back here and select again Okay, so the Google Cloud project is ready. I'm going to leave, I don't want to access the restriction. Uh, you can also say feature this app in your public apps gallery so that it will come here. Um, yeah, and how do you want to set the source code? So I'm going to say set the source code into repository script path. So in my case, the script path is uses water in Iago module 11 and script is script one that's it i will say publish and the app will list here now you can click on this particular link and see if the app is ready so as you can see this is your public app uh, link you can share this link but as it's not yet ready it takes some minutes to usually some minutes to get the app ready and it's not ready yet so we can try it after a couple of minutes and uh, it should work no Yeah, it's ready now so you can see uh, the app is ready anyone with this link will be able to see this uh, yeah there are basic uh, tools you can change the background you have uh, zoom in zoom out yeah, it's a basic app but uh, you can also make your script or you can develop a script which uh, provide some useful applications that's it on app development thank you